Good day everyone. Welcome to my channel Development Rishi. I am Dev. So today we are going to talk about navigating the shell. Apart from mastering the art of typing, our initial focus resolves around navigating this file system on our Linux system. In this chapter, we will familiarize ourselves with the following commands essential for this purpose. The first command we are going to look at is pwd which means print working directory then cd change directory and finally ls which lists the directory content grasping the file system hierarchy similar to windows a unix like operating system like linux employs a hierarchical directory structure to organize its files this entails arranging them in a tree like formation of directories referred to as folders in certain systems housing both files and additional directories at the pinnacle of its structure lies the root directory serving as the initial directory in the file system the root directory encompasses files and directories which in turn harbor further files and subdirectories perpetuating this pattern indefinitely All right it's worth noting that unlike windows where each storage device has its distinct file system tree unix like systems like linux maintains a unified file system tree regardless of the number of drives or storages connected to the computer storage devices are linked or more accurately mounted at different locations within the tree based on the decision made by the system administrator the individuals responsible for system maintenance okay the present working directory many of us are likely acquainted with the graphical file manager that visually presents the file system tree as depicted in figure one so most of us know that the how the file system tree looks like we have one folder then we have subfolder and those folders can have their subfolders and so on and you can even have files within those folders right so it is important to observe that the tree is commonly depicted in an inverted manner with the root positions at the top and the branches cascading downwards nevertheless in the command line interface visual representations are absent necessitating a distinct mindset for navigating the file system tree all right so in the terminal console uh, we do not get this type of file system representation but of course you can install plugins and apps to get this sort of visualization so i'll show you one example so let's say uh, there is one command called tree okay it's called tree so at present tree is not installed in our system so let's install it it's sudo app install tree you enter your password okay now if you run the command tree it is going to show all your apps, all your files in a tree like manner. Envision the file system as an inverted tree shaped maze where we can position ourselves at its center. Within this structure, we reside within a particular directory at any given moment. Perceiving the files contained within that directory, the pathway leading to the directory above known as the parent directory and any subordinate directories below. The directory in which we are currently positioned is referred to as the current working directory to reveal the current working directory we employ the pwd command which is print working directory so let's have a look so this is the console and we are at the root directory so to know where we are we can just type pwd and it'll tell you that we are at the home directory inside the dev rishi user okay so as you can look over here user that is logged in over here is me right and when we apply the pwd command over here at the root directory it gives us slash home slash the username right so the username is me over here so it is giving me okay in our case it was dev rishi which is dev rishi at pop os so it is giving us home slash dev rishi okay so upon initial login to our system or commencement of a terminal emulator session our current working directory defaults to our designated home directory each user account possesses its individual home directory which serves as the exclusive location where regular users can create Create and modify files displaying the content of a directory to retrieve listing of files and directories within the current working directory we utilize the ls command okay so you can type ls and it will show you all the folders within your current directory so we are currently inside the home slash dev rishi directory okay so if we type ls it will show us all the files and folders inside the uh, 
uh, inside our home directory that we are currently in okay in fact the ls command allows us to list the contents of any directory not limited to the current working directory and it offers various additional functionalities to explore we will delve deeper into the capabilities of ls in the upcoming chapter all right so you you can list any directory with the ls command not just the current working directory but we'll get into that later okay modifying the current working directory altering the current working directory our position within the tree shaped maze is accomplished by employing the cd command to achieve this input cd followed by the desired working directory's path name a path name represents the pathway traverse along the branches of tree to reach the intended directory path names can be specified in either of two ways as absolute path name or relative path names first let's address the absolute path name okay so uh, what is absolute path name an absolute uh, path name commences from the root directory and proceeds through each branch of the tree until the path to the uh, desired directory or file is accomplished for instance consider a directory on your system where the majority of your systems programs are installed the path name of this directory is slash user usr slash bin okay this implies that starting from the root directory denoted by the leading slash in the path name there exists a directory named usr which in turn houses the directory name bin okay so let's try this let's say let's clear the terminal first let's say cd slash usr slash bin okay so we are in that directory right now so we can just say ls and it'll uh, display all the files inside this directory okay there are tons of files right okay so you can do pwd and it'll show you that you are inside the user slash bin directory okay and when you do the ls command it'll show you all the files inside the bin folder right so which are many of the packages that are install installed in your system okay as you can see over here we wrote the command cd slash user there's a typo here user usr slash bin and then we did uh, pwd and then we it showed us the current working directory and when we did the ls command uh, it showed us the list of many files and folders inside the bin directory okay uh, observing the current status we can perceive that the working current working directory has been modified to usr slash been showcasing a multitude of files within take note of the altered shell prompt as a convenience it is typically configured to automatically exhibit the name of the working directory for ease of reference so if you look over here we are inside the slash user slash bin directory and it is showing it over here so it will always show you either the full path or the current folder name inside your terminal okay so now what is relative path names while an absolute path name originates from the root directory and navigates to its target target uh, relative path name commences from the working directory itself to achieve this it employs specific symbols that indicate relative positions within the file system tree these symbols include dot and dot dot or double dot the symbol dot denotes the current working directory while double dot signifies the parent directory of the working directory here's a demonstration of this functionality let's alter the working directory back to user slash bin okay so we are already there so we can check it again by doing pwd and yep we are here all right now let's assume that we wish to modify the working directory to the parent directory of slash user slash bin which is slash user so what we are saying is we want to go one directory up so we we are currently in the bin directory and we want to go to the usr directory okay which is slash usr there are two distinct approaches to achieve this the first method in involves employing an absolute path so what you can do is you can say cd slash usr and now you are in the usr 
directory okay so to, to check you can just type pwd okay or with the relative path name uh, which is cd double dot okay so the other way of going one directory up is to just type cd double dot right you are at the same location as you were previously but just one directory above so now you might be wondering there are two alternative methods that yield identical outcomes so which one should we opt for the answer lies in choosing the option that necessitates minimal typing okay so generally we do not use this command right because then you'll have to remember the name of the parent directory instead how it is done is this command cd double dot this is the most general way of doing it in this way you don't have to actually worry about the name of the parent directory you just move one level above okay so this is the most common way of doing it right similarly we have two different approaches to modify the working directory from slash usr slash bin the first method involves employing an absolute path so currently we are in the slash usr directory so if you want to go inside the bin directory so you can say slash usr slash bin okay and you will get inside that directory to go back you can just type cd double dot right or the other way the easier way of doing it instead of writing the whole path to the directory the subdirectory you can just say cd dot slash bin okay so what this means is dot means current directory see as we said double dot means the parent directory the direct one directory above and single dot means the current directory okay so what we are saying is we want to go inside the bin folder which is inside the current directory okay so dot means current di directory slash bin okay so now we are inside the bin folder right to go back again you can just type cd double dot there is another way of doing it which is the most common way of doing it so instead of typing cd dot slash bin uh, you can just type cd bin or the name of the folder that you are trying to enter it'll do the same thing and it gives uh, it lets you type a little less and you don't have to worry about typing dot slash okay so the terminal knows that you want to get inside a directory which is inside the current working directory okay so as mentioned here now there is a crucial point that needs to be highlighted here it is ne in nearly all cases the dot slash can be omitted as it is implicitly understood thus you can simply type cd bin as i mentioned okay both commands perform the same function as a general uh, rule if you omit specifying a specific path name the working directory will be assumed by default right so you don't have to type dot slash bin if you just type bin it'll understand that you are talking uh, you are talking about the current working directory all right so these are some helpful shortcuts the following table displays several convenient methods to swiftly alter the cur current working directory cd modifies the current working directory to your designated home directory so okay let's have a look so we are currently inside the usr slash bin directory let's clear the terminal if you just type cd you'll go back to your original home directory okay so now if i do pwd we are inside the slash home slash devrish directory right this is the original directory this is the default directory that is assigned to us by the system okay our home directory so if you say cd dash alters the current working directory to the preceding working directory okay so if you want to go back to where you were previously you can just say cd dash right and you are back to where you were earlier right so you can say pwd and you're back in the slash user slash bin directory right and the last is cd wiggly line and the username modifies the current working directory to the home directory of the specified user referred to as username for instance using the command cd uh, wiggly line john will change the directory to the home directory of the username john all right so let's say we want to go back to dev rishi's home directory so we'll say cd the wiggly line and dev rishi and we are back to our default directory okay there is only one user in the system so if it was more than one you can just type cd wiggly line let's say there was john and when you press enter it'll go back go to the john's home directory but because we don't have that user in the system it is going to give us a no such file or directory error all right so important fact
facts about file names, the things that you need to remember. Files that commence with a period character are deemed hidden, implying that they will not be listed by the ls command unless the option ls-a is specified. So for example, if you have a folder named dot hello, that folder will not be displayed by the ls command because that is considered a hidden folder. But if you want to list all the hidden folders, you'll have to pass the argument -a. So if I say ls and in the home directory of this system, uh, these are only folders that are displayed. Okay, if I say ls-a, a few more files and folders are now visible. Why? Because all these folders that start with dot in front of them and even the files, they're all considered hidden. Right. So even if we open the home direct in our file explorer, you won't be seeing any of these dot folders, the hidden files. So to see these, you'll have to click show hidden files. And now it'll be showing you all these hidden files. All right. So as you can see these files, so dot bash underscore logout it's here and uh, dot bash underscore history it's here okay so this is how you can view your hidden files in your command line okay when your account was created numerous hidden files were deposited in your home directory to configure specific account settings later on we will delve deeper into some of these files to explore how we can personalize your environment Additionally, certain applications store their configuration and settings files as hidden files within your home directory. So as we saw, uh, there are certain applications such as Mozilla and uh, VS Code. These apps have saved their configurations uh, within these hidden folders. Okay. In Linux, similar to Unix, file names and commands are case sensitive. This implies that the file name file with a capital F and the file with uh, the smaller case F correspond to distinct files. Okay. So if you have a folder called file one with capital F, that is different from a folder name with lowercase F in its name. Okay. Lowercase file one. All right. Linux uh, does not have a predefined concept of file extension like certain other operating systems you have the freedom to name files as you wish the content and purpose of a file in linux are determined through alternative methods while unix like operating systems do not rely on file extensions to determine file contents or purpose certain application programs may make use of them right while linux allows for long file names that can include spaces and various punctuation characters it is advisable to restrict restrict the use of punctuation characters in file names to period a dash and an underscore right it is especially important to avoid embedding spaces in file names instead consider using underscores characters to represent space between words in file name following this practice can prove beneficial in the future right so if you have uh, so what we are saying if you have a folder name new folder new space folder uh, it is advisable that you name it new underscore folder okay and as we said uh, the benefit of this will be shown in the future videos okay so let's summarize the chapter in this chapter we explored how the shell interacts with the directory structure of the system we gain an understanding of absolute and relative path names as well as the essential commands for navigating through the structure in the upcoming chapters we will leverage this knowledge to take a comprehensive tour of a contemporary linux system all right so i want you to now now go through this chapter and try out these commands yourself and get a hang of these commands uh, once you are confident uh, move to the next chapter and you try moving around in different directories within your system okay so that you know what you can do you can go inside one of these folders where you have files saved and then use the cd command to you know get out of these folders and get back to your home directory etc all right guys so i'll finish the video over here and in the next uh, video we'll talk about exploring the system all right so in the meantime have a good one